asante sana leo um to transform kenya as envisage in the vision into a middle income country within the next few years calls for an invigorated revamped indeed fired up revolutionary shift in our approach to agriculture kenya's economy is essentially agrarian based and to demonstrate the seriousness with which the government takes this sector revenue allocation to agriculture stands at 11 percent of our national budget this figure is uh, worth noting as it does actually surpass the 10 percent allocation allocation level in terms of what happened in maputo i believe in 2003 which is referred to as the maputo declaration the significance of agriculture to Kenya's economic development is phenomenal, as clearly demonstrated in the, in the uh, prominence it is accorded within our Vision 2030 economic pillar. And during this financial year 2011-2012, Minister of Agriculture was allocated a significant 19.6 billion Kenya shillings. Quite a bit of money. These funds will go towards financing initiatives aimed at boosting food security such as development of irrigated agriculture and commercialization of agricultural production. Ladies and gentlemen, the government is implementing various agricultural projects and programs within this province. These programs aim at increasing productivity, eradicating poverty, improving extension service delivery, promoting beneficial participation, and enhancing private sector participation in agricultural production. These programs are intended to encourage farmers to scale up food production in order to boost food security within the country in both the crop and the life, livestock subsectors. Through this program, farmers, either as individuals or through groups, will receive grants and advances. Now, the main thrust is to eradicate poverty. Eradication is a powerful word. We must believe that we can eradicate I used to think we could reduce, but now through a revolutionary approach, we have to eradicate. Now, given the potential for irrigation identified in the nine project districts, project will no doubt contribute to the strengthening of Kenya's economic development. This objective will be achieved mainly through enhancing agricultural production. Key components of the project include improvement of market linkages and value addition of agriculture channeled primarily through farmers groups. Minister of Agriculture in collaboration with the partners is implementing uh, seven food security projects within Mwala district to the tune of 17 million. And of this amount, Mwala Constituency Development Band, uh, Fund, CDF, kupitia mweshmiwa mwoki, wametua milioni sita na nukta ine. Tumpigia makofi hata mweshmiwa wenu. I now must conclude by thanking the people of Mwala and our development partners, specifically the African Development Bank and partner organizations that have worked with the government in this noble assignment. I also commend the area member of parliament and the role played by the community leaders towards the successful rehabilitation of the scheme. It is now my pleasure to declare the Kaba irrigation scheme within Mwala district officially commissioned I thank you and may God bless you.